Hey guys, Hannah and Mike here with Delta. If you're like us, you probably have some sort of connected home speaker like Amazon Alexa or a Google Home device. We use ours for all kinds of things, to play music. Set cooking timers. We even use it to check the weather. And now, thanks to Delta Faucet's Voice IQ technology, you can use your voice to turn on your kitchen faucet. Pretty crazy, right? And you may be wondering why you'd ever need to do that. But if you think about it, the kitchen's actually a pretty great place for some hands-free help. Exactly. Think about how often your hands are full or dirty. So now, if you're working in the kitchen and you want to save a little bit of time or mess, you can simply ask Alexa or Google to turn on the water for you, and boom. One of my favorite features is that you can ask your faucet for exactly the amount of water you need. For example, simply ask your faucet to dispense six ounces, or one cup, or two cups, or... Or just about any other amount you could need. Or maybe you want to create some custom commands that make your life just a little bit easier, like filling your coffee pot or your dog's water bowl with the perfect amount of water. There's even a feature that will warm up the water for you. And just like Delta's Touch 2O technology, once you have it in your kitchen, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Couple of things to know. There are some requirements for installing the Voice IQ module. Now first, it only works with Delta's most current version of the Touch 2O kitchen faucets, and it's an easy check to be sure. Your Touch 2O faucet needs to have been manufactured after January 1st, 2018. One way to check is by looking at the tag on your faucet for the date of manufacture. That's why we say don't remove those. Right, but if you've gone rogue and it's no longer there, check the color of your solenoid. Is it black or gray? If it's black with blue clips, then you should be in good shape. Now, if it's gray, no worries. You don't need an entirely new faucet. You just need to upgrade your solenoid. And we have a video to show you just how to do that. And if you're here because you bought a new faucet that came with Voice IQ, we've got you covered too. Go check out our Touch 2O faucet video, get your faucet installed and hooked up, and then come back. We'll be here. Okay, second requirement, you need a grounded power outlet under your sink. Be sure it's one that's not controlled by a switch as this can interfere with the functionality. And finally, while this might seem obvious, it is critical. You need some supporting technology. Number one, Voice IQ will pair with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant enabled devices. Number two, Wi-Fi. And make sure you get a connected signal in your kitchen. And number three, a smartphone or tablet for setup. Now once you've checked off all the requirements, you're ready. And more great news, you don't need any tools and I bet we can get it done in under five minutes. So grab a pair of safety glasses and a small towel for some light water cleanup and let's get started. So first, let's make sure you don't make a mess. Under your sink, turn off both your hot and cold water supplies. And on your faucet, move your handle to the off position. Next, remove the cap from your battery pack. Now we're going to remove the bottom blue plastic clip from our solenoid and then disconnect the sprayer hose by gently pulling downward. There's likely a little bit of water in this line, so be sure you have a towel for any light water cleanup. Next, take your new voice module and slide that into the bottom of the solenoid and then lock it in place by lifting and snapping the blue retainer clip on the Voice IQ module upward and into place. Next, slide the hose you removed earlier onto the bottom of the Voice IQ module and secure it in place with the blue clip. Pull down lightly on the hose to ensure it's properly connected. And just a few finishing touches. Connect the ethernet cable to the Voice IQ module and the existing solenoid. Make sure your hands are dry and that you've wiped up any water. Connect the power supply to the solenoid and plug it into your unswitched power source. It may seem strange, but in order for the module to function properly, you'll need to plug it in and use batteries. Make sure the batteries are in the correct orientation and then reconnect the cap to the battery pack. Next, place the pack with a two inch clearance on all sides. You don't want to stand it up or attach it to a cabinet wall. And lastly, turn your water supplies back on and check for any leaks. And that's it, the install's done. Easy, right? Definitely, now for some setup. We've got a video that will walk you through step by step and even show you how to program those custom commands, so be sure to check that out. 